Hey guys, it's Apple Mint. Welcome back again to my channel. So, as you can see, I am not uh, I'm not in the video right now. It's just my voice. I have not done a video without me in it in quite some time now. So the reason for that is this is going to be a bit of a more simple video in terms of this is gonna be a speed paint video of how I created my Kingdom Hearts print artwork that uh, I actually have up in my store and I take to cons with me. Uh, and the reason for that is this week, well, I guess if you're watching this now, I'm currently at Anime Next which is in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. It is a anime convention that I attend every year with my friends and it's a lot of fun. So I am there right now and because of that, all week I've been doing some preparation and last minute things for the convention as well as things for my store, uh, multitasking some other life things. So this week had to be a bit of a shorter video. Uh, well, I guess not shorter, but a bit of a simpler video. So hopefully you understand, and I hope you still enjoy watching this. Uh, but I'm not gonna talk through this whole video like I normally do. Just gonna give you a little bit of an introduction, and then I'll put some music on for you guys to watch if you're interested in seeing how I did the process of this drawing. Basically, if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan like me, uh, you know, I've, I've been a Kingdom Hearts fan since I was like, a kid. Um, I had all the games. Well, I guess, okay, that's wrong. I didn't have all the games. I had one, then I played two. Uh, I played Dream Drop, or no, uh, 358 over two days. And uh, I did not play many of the ones in between because I just didn't have the consoles that they were on. So I got Kingdom Hearts 3, was super excited, and I enjoyed playing that game. So I had to make some fan art for it because, I mean, it's one of my favorite game franchises ever. So it would feel wrong to not do something for it. As you can see in the beginning, I did a bunch of different sketches. It took me quite a while to get to the final sketch, just because I wasn't completely happy with the way the pose was coming out. Changed a bunch of things. Um, ended up asking one of my friends on Instagram for some advice on how to change the pose around a bit. She gave me some good tips on how I could make it less stiff, because I just wasn't liking what was happening. You know when you start drawing something and you have the idea in your head, but the more you're trying to get it on a paper, the more you're kind of getting confused and not able to make it the way it is in your head. And that's just, that was one of those, uh, I had one of those moments when I was trying to create this drawing, but I eventually came to a sketch that I liked and started outlining it. And from there on, it was just about putting in the time to color everything and line everything. That. Lining takes quite a while in digital for me, but coloring, I would say, probably takes longer for me just because you can zoom in a lot in digital artwork and get a ton of detail in there. And so because of that, I try to add detail to every little aspect of my digital artwork. Whereas when you have traditional artwork, it's just on a piece of paper in front of you and your art supplies can only get so fine sometimes, so you can't really get as much de like tiny, tiny details in there, uh, you know, as you could with digital, but. I enjoyed making this piece, and uh, I'm pretty proud of the end result, honestly. I wanted to do something that was similar to the box art in a way, in terms at least of the background that you'll see me add in later, which is kind of like a twilighty, sky background uh, and that's on the box art of the game itself there's that kind of sky background there in front of so I wanted to pull that same kind of color scheme in for the background on mine and it's just kind of Sora and Kyrie uh, <laughs> like he's kind of angsty and uh, ready to protect everybody and she is I guess she's not like scared in the game she's more I guess she's, you know, she's more the brave type of the game now, but I just decided to go in this direction for the artwork. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, watching all of this. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna talk through this whole thing. I just wanted to give you guys some background on the artwork itself. Uh, I don't think I mentioned before, but this was done in Procreate on my iPad. And I just love that Procreate has this feature that as you're drawing, it 
records every action that you've drawn in the app while you're while you're going. So I don't have to do any kind of screen capture program and worry about all that. I love that Procreate just uh, records everything for me. And so that was really, that's a really nice feature of Procreate. Anyway, I hope you enjoy watching this video. I'm currently at Anime Next right now. Uh, having a blast over there and check out my Instagram stories if you want to watch or uh, see some of the pictures and videos that I'm taking there. I'm assuming I'm going to be taking video and picture there. I'm recording this in the future, so <laughs> I'm just speaking uh, for what I think I'll be doing. But anyway, enjoy this video and I will see you guys all next week back with my regular videos uh, as I always do. All my links are in the description box below and thank you so much for watching and I hope you continue to watch to the end. Bye bye, this is me. This is me leaving the voiceover. I talk a lot.